All right, today I'm going to show you how I cook soba, which is a Japanese whole wheat noodle. And soba is quite popular in Japan. And it's, well, this one's organic. This is an organic meal. And you will need some boiling water, some soba, obviously, which you can buy at most supermarkets. And, well, what I like to do is add a yeast free organic stock cube in it with the soba and then some organic cabbage. So I've boiled the kale and I'm going to add soba into this pan. Now that you've put the soba into the pan with the stock cube, you then add boiling hot water. The soba doesn't take that long to cook, about eight odd minutes, now don't fill the pan. You just want enough because if you put in too much water, you'll end up with a soup, a noodle soup, and you don't want a noodle soup. Well, in case you do, but if you do, you can add a little bit more water. Now, all you have to do is turn on the hob. Now that you've got the gas on and the hob is heating up the water, you can then stir the stop cube and stir the noodles for about 10 minutes until they're really, really really soft. During that time I'll add the cabbage, I'll tear up cabbage, which should be easy to do. I wonder if I can do it one handed. Yes I can, I think. Now this soba noodles is so bloody good, which is yoi is good in Japanese and if you want to say it's delicious it's ishi and if it's yummy it's yumai. Mmm, smelling good already. A lot in the cabbage here. Mmm. That's it. Once you've added all the cabbage in, you mix and stir until it's cooked. Now you want to keep on boiling it until the noodles are cooked. But once the noodles are cooked, you have the option of boiling off the water to make a really thick noodles. Or you could just leave a little bit of water in so you get a bit of soup. I prefer the noodles. With a tiny little bit of water. It's basically um, a really thick soup. Now you just keep on stirring, make sure the noodles don't stick to the pan, they shouldn't stick. For some reason the soba noodles don't stick to anything. Really slimy. I need to keep on cooking and cooking. The good thing about this is it's all organic. It means there's no cancer causing chemicals in it. No additives will give you cancer later on. Maybe the start. So there's nothing to worry about, it won't kill me in the long run. So you just keep on cooking and cooking and cooking, which is almost done. Even though the noodles look soft, I bet they're still hard in the center. So you just keep boiling. Now I think I'm running out of water because it's starting to look more like a sauce now. Mmm, look at that. Now traditionally Japanese people like to put soya sauce in there. Of course the sensible people would use organic soya sauce. Mmm. You might. And that is how I like to make soba. You can get other noodles such as the thick, thicker noodles which is udon and they look they look and taste exactly the same apart from the udon noodles are slightly thicker. Okay, hope you enjoyed and hope you try it soba.